again. And we're going to pick up from where we were last month. How about that? Huh? So I'm going to review. I'm going to see if you remember you were using this cool book, Quilt in a Day Log Cabin. And what edition is it? Six. Sixth edition. We're going to show you everything that's in it tonight. Do you want to see that? Okay, first of all, we have to go back and review from last month. This is really fun. Teresa just could not wait to make a new log cabin quilt. Right? <laughs> and so, oh, I'm it's right you. <laughs> I'm right here. You're on. Say it's hello. You. Okay, so now you have to see it. Oh. You have to make the noise. One, two, oh. three. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's planned. Remember we showed you planned last week, last month? Do you like it? I hope so, because it's my new line of fabric coming out. So, woo! We went very Victorian, very floral, very different. Beautiful, relaxing in the bedroom. Did you say what's the name of it? Okay. It's called Zilly Ann. Anybody know why it might be called Zilly Ann? Do, do. Do, 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 do. Because I grew up in the town of Zillianople, Pennsylvania, and the owner of the the um, original owner of the town, Stoddard's name was Zilly Ann. And my best friend, right? <laughs> I think I was around then. But anyhow, it's just a special old Victorian town. And um, Orion was just telling me that he just got some pictures from my brother of some of the Victorian homes. Isn't it very Victorian? Yes. Large scale prints, lots of fussy cuts. Oh, Patty likes that one. And it's got little checks. It's got a stripe border. This is just a start. So you're going to be seeing that this summer. We hope this is just um, a teaser. Is that a good teaser? OK, so last month we did all the planned. Remember that, remember we did like the center. OK, I'm going to review it. It was center. And then there were how many rounds of light? Three. It went one, two, three, right? And then in the dark side, how many rounds of dark? Three. One, two, three. And see, there were only like three different lights and three different darks. Mm hmm. Six and one is seven. Ooh. <laughs> How would you like to do 13? Ooh. That sounds like a lot of fun, huh? Okay, so let's think. This is how you could get those 13 different colors. It could be from your stash. How many of you have a stash? <laughs> How many of you have scraps? Where do you keep them? In the what? In the stash. In the stash. Oh, you're supposed to say everywhere. You're supposed to keep them everywhere, everywhere. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. I just put out my hands and I said, ooh, this was left over from my Mexican star. Hmm. Lots of pieces. I have even more. These look good, huh? Yeah. yeah, I could start with these strips, but you know how it is. You've got to go to the fabric store. Yeah. Get one new piece <laughs> just to add to it, just to add it. Make it look really good, right? you got to fix up your stash. How about this? Ooh. Hmm. Is that pretty? That, this could be really pretty. Well, I thought that was a good start, but then I said, ew, I'm going to look around. How about a little yellow? Oh, yeah. Ooh. How about just a little bit of blue? Just a little bit now. Just a touch. How about some pink? Oh, are we doing good? Oh, and just one more. I just couldn't resist, huh? Ah, this, this is a start, right? You just start with your stash, and the next thing you know, you're cutting it up into strips, sewing it together, huh? Or you could just pick up 
Okay, now I got to straighten that out. It's a two and a half inch roll because Jelly Roll belongs to Moda. Benertex calls these two and a half inch strips strip pie. Strip pie. One of the girls said, I said, I can't remember. This is how she said, this is how you remember it, Eleanor. You live in Julian, right? You're a stripper. <laughs> What's the favorite product to purchase in Julian? Pie. Strip pie. You have to do a little association, but there's more. If you were from Riley Blake, you would call it roly poly. Is that cute? Roly poly? Roly poly? And if you were from Robert Kaufman, you would call it a roll up. I'm just making this one. A roll up. Oh, you can get all white. Or you're not going to believe this one. Rainbow batik. Ooh. Cut by quilt in a day. <laughs> Is that cool? Is that pretty? Martha does all this cutting and then she rolls it all up. Is that not amazing? Yeah. To look so professional and nice, done right here, quilt in a day. All right, now you remember, so now we have to call them two and a half inch strips. Don't worry, we might make a mistake. Do you want to see our quilts? Yes. In our two and a half inch strips? Whoa! Okay, this one is from Bannertex. Pardon me? Um, no, but this is from Benner, Texas, called Blush, and I made it. How do you like that? I made it. You can actually make, you can make, you can make 12 blocks from one two and a half inch strip, but I just made nine, because that was all I could decide on. That's the truth. <laughs> but I liked it. It looks kind of like fall. I don't know how that one got in there, but it did. <laughs> that was because I did. Yes, it wanted to be there. And so, see, it's all, it's real, all circles, very modern looking solid colors. It's nice, but look at the back. Isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful. Just really, really fun. Okay, that's our first one. Look at our whole stack. Whoa. Maybe, oh, look at Teresa's so nice and neat. Okay, this one is really cute. There. Okay, this one has little cats in it. There's all little cats. Here's a perfect little cat. See the little cats all around? There's little cats. Well, Grant's kids were on vacation one day, and we needed to have a quilt, so we brought them over. It was Ellie, uh, Jonas, and Becca. And there was Patty, Teresa, and Elle. And we each took a kid, and each child made a row. It was done like that. And they really enjoyed it. Then we put them all together. So it was really fun. Um, the little kids and on the back, you have to show it. We have more cats. More cats. Isn't that cute? Have you seen the little cat, the little kids, the little cats wearing the ears around with two legs? That's the thing. I know that Kylie always has it on. And so that was the quilt. And what was left over, then we had Kylie and Zoe do a little placemat. Isn't that cute? Very, very cute. And I don't know if you, if you saw, is this one? Oops. It's the same kitty. It's the same kitty, but it's not quite sewn the same. It is, I'm sorry. Okay, so this is something different that, we, that we've done. You know how you could just do a placemat and then put the backing right sides together, sew around, leave an opening? Well, Teresa didn't want to sew the opening shut. <laughs> so we had to do this whole other thing. <laughs> That's the truth, isn't it? <laughs> but you say so. <laughs> huh? No, this is the truth, and this is in the book. This is in the book. Look how cute. Okay, so we sent, did um, Brenda do this one or Judy Jackson? Okay, I'm not sure, but one of the girls, 
we gave them the placemat, the patchwork, and they layered it on their long arm on a, and put all the little placemats in a row on top of the batting and the backing, and they quilted it, and then they cut around the placemat and gave it back to us, and then all you do is put two pieces of fabric overlapped in the back like a pillow. See, that's the back, okay? One, two, three, pop it out, and they have that little opening. So, there's no hand sewing. Ah, oh, get it? Awesome. You could do a pillow. But it really has a nice weight to it. Really, really cute. Oh, look, this one I have to show Eric. This is adorable, Eric. The little, the little centerpiece has little cats. Is that cute? And then go to the little cat beside it. Yeah, is that cute? Little cats all over. Really, really fun. Anyhow, good. Okay, so now each one of us is going to get one. Is this, do you want to give me this one? Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Silver and gold. Make new friends. But keep the old. Are you gonna sing with me? Silver and the other gold. Girl Scouts. And guess what? We have those back on the table. Oh, Patty, you could just grab those. They're right in the very corner. They're really cute. Ooh. Is that pretty? But this is also Banner Tex. The line is called Metallic. You were, you, do you like it all made up? Yes. Isn't it pretty? Silver and gold, silver and gold. And notice the binding, at least, um, that they have a couple of different colors. Actually, this is really nice the way it goes on the corner like that. Okay, that's good. We like that one. Cool. What is this one? Oh, wait till you see. Oh. Is that pretty? Isn't that pretty? So it's, it's a little hard to see the, what's the light and what's the dark, don't you? But, but if you squint at it, you'll get it. Or if you put on your red glasses here, you can have. OK, now, oh, I see. Light and dark, huh? Perfect, you light and dark. You have dark. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes, you have light and you have dark. So anyhow, now Jenny, we're going to count dark. The, if we're going to count the colors, so this is the light side, right? This is the dark side. So the first light, light one is light one, light two, light three, light four, light five, light six. Uh huh. And then go to the other side. This is dark or D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6. Six and six are? And one more for center is? Got it. Want to see the back? This is so cute. Isn't that pretty? Very, very pretty. Oh, and then there's a little pillow to match it. Oh, placemat. <laughs> it's adorable. Yeah, that is very beautiful. Okay, this next one that she's going to show is in the back cover. Just open your book, and you'll see this at, this is at my um, table in Julian. It's actually a Christmas line. Do you believe that? I didn't know. I thought it was 4th of July, so I got out my Uncle Sam's. It's Christmas? It is Christmas. Yes, don't you see the holly and the berries? And berries, yeah. But it's really, really good and really enjoy it. I didn't know. <laughs> I couldn't tell. I put my Uncle Sam's out, yeah. And the placemats. So um, for baby and lap, 
you need one two and a half inch strip set for double and twin and double you need two for queen and king you need three whoops <laughs> <laughs> I was not drinking, honest, I wasn't. <laughs> okay, so this one, this is really different. I love this one. Isn't that nice? That is beautiful. That is really, really beautiful. And whenever you first, whenever you first start sorting them out as to what is light and what is dark, you see like, oh, this green. Well, maybe I should put this on the dark side. But see, once it's worked in there with all the other lights, mm -hmm. doesn't it help the pattern? Yes. So when you work with a two and a half inch strip pack, you just have to figure out what to do with what you get in the pack. But, and just, it's pretty amazing what all comes together. And I, of course, I love the paisley, the red paisley. Beautiful, and the back. The back is really neat. Really, really cool. The very, the kids love the back. Very cozy. Yeah, and it looks like um, trees. Is this, this is trees. That looks like branches, yeah. Pine cones, yes, these are pine cones. That's beautiful. It really goes with the front. Really goes with, nice with it. Okay, how are we coming? What's our next one? We've got a beautiful gray back. Yeah, it's coming. One, two, three. Ooh. Ah. Okay. This one is photographed on page 123. And this is a page that you're going to want to really remember because you see it has all sizes of quilts. And it tells how many pre-cut strips you need oh, how neat. for each placement, for each size. So if you have like more than one jelly roll leftovers from, from one two and a half inch roll, you could combine them as long as you know how many you need. Is that good? Is this, that's just the block. That doesn't include the binding and stuff. I uh, know. The borders take five, five strips. You put the top and the bottom on first so they still fit. And then you have three left. You cut one strip in half and put half on each side. So you have one and a half on each side. And that's it. That's and, and sometimes, and for instance, okay, um, I'll tell you about that one in a minute, but now, if you can't find a nice green, this is also Christmas. This is Gail's. Isn't it beautiful? Mm -hmm. This is a Christmas line. But I have a feeling that she couldn't find the right green, so she bought five-eighths of a yard, cut her center square, and two and a half inch strips for her border from five-eighths of a yard. Usually we do center and then the border. But you can see that she pieced... Um, her leftover two and a half inch strips, yeah. and that became her binding. Yeah. Yep. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And this is Fields and Furrows. Fields and Furrows is great in almost any combination. If you start putting your blocks together and you say, ooh, this isn't working, do Fields and Furrows. It works great. Yeah, that one is very special. And look, oh, look at the label. Oh, Teresa, she put a label. Notice. <laughs> and that's just part of the um, part of the leftovers. Yeah, cool. Okay, next one. The backing is just beautiful on this one. Oh, let's show the backing first. Yeah, I'll show the backing first. Isn't it beautiful? This is twin size. This is uh, 15 blocks three by five and Carol did this one and this is really interesting no, that was no. Michelle. yeah this is Michelle's oh Michelle she was just oh, yeah. peeking in the door <laughs> Michelle <laughs> oh Michelle this is one look at this beautiful quilt isn't that beautiful 
And this was from the Rainbow Batik cut by Quilt in a Day. Isn't that nice? Very, very beautiful. So, and, and again, look how you can't you still see a light side mm -hmm. and a dark side? Mm -hmm. And they're kind of like, especially when you look in the camera, mm -hmm. if you take a picture, but it's very, very pretty. Oh, she has something special on here. See this? Oh, yeah. the, it's a, like a little flange. It's called the Magic Binding. I'm going to teach this to you in April. It's a flange, a flange, and it's very easy. It comes from two strips. And actually, I have some antique quilts that have also this flange on. It's amazing. We thought it was new. <laughs> Everything old is new again, trust me. <laughs> okay, we're getting down. This is Patty's. You might have seen this one earlier. I think that this jelly roll, Ooh two and a half inch strip roll <laughs> would work great. Can you see a similarity? Isn't that great? Okay, but I have to tell you, Patty is very fussy. Mm -hmm. This could only take one two and a half inch strip roll. It took her three to get just the right fabrics. <laughs> So anyhow, but I think this has a, it has a nice section of the lights. See how many lights you have? You have to have 15 lights and 18 darks. 18 darks. This is by Moda. It is a jelly roll. <laughs> Yvette, you look like you're, oh, you're, oh, man. Those, those jelly rolls are going away from the table, huh? But then the board, the beautiful, um, border around the outside. But Patty did that one. Mm -hmm. All right. And this one, oh, this is the one I was going to look in the book. Because you can see the pattern in the book, but it's hard to see in the quilt. Let me tell you what page this one is on. Ooh, I found it. It's beautiful. It's on page 84. And this is by Carol. And this one is really fun. She was standing at the cutting table beside Martha. And as she cut the Kansas Troubles, Martha from Martha and Carol just put them together. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> Eat your heart out. OK, and this very last one. I think it's her last one. I. What size was that one? That one was a double. It was four by six, 24 blocks, two, two and a half inch strip rolls. It's on page 84. 84. Is it 84? Where? 84. Let me find it. 84. I think you're right. 84 by 86. Well, this one is on the bed, but, but it's op all just bought a photo to shot without being on the bed, not folded. That's what I was looking for because you can see it clearly see a star in it, but without... Um, and page 60. 60. Okay, go to 60. Yes. Okay. Do you see the star? It's a nice layout. It's four by six. And the star? Is star. Beautiful. You see the star and the barn right there? Uh huh. And all, all of these, you can use the photographs, but all of the um, layouts are in this book. There's a ton of them. Really fun, creative. And this one is mine. Um, this is all the um, homestead. And I use three. And see, when you look at this one, too, you see, a you see the pattern when it's photographed. It's just a couple page later. Yeah, the star. And it has, it has stripes in it. It has some little um, 
prints, rosettes, and it was just really fun. It's 36 blocks, six across, six down. It will fit the top of a queen, a king size bed, but if you need borders dropping down the sides, those are up to you to decide. My, my bed has um, drawers underneath, so I don't need much drop. They just, it just gets caught in the drawers, so why, why make it bigger? So anyhow, okay, that was the last one. All right, well now we are going to go and we're going to figure out how to divide up our jelly roll. All right, page 51. Look at page 51, and this is Teresa's job right now. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna, it is, remember? But you think about your job as I come back here to this beautiful oh, quilt. Oh, yes. Okay. Isn't this one gorgeous? What to it's do? It's just beautiful with the dark center. And honestly, when I see it, I just see a lot of the dark and then the same uh, border around the outside edge. But it has like three, like this is three values of pink and then beside it, three values of blue. And it's just laid out. So, okay. Repeating yellow and beautiful circle quilting in it and look at the binding ah ha ha that is really good that's very scrappy very very scrappy around there okay are you gonna stand there yeah okay i just gonna arrange them right yep we can pick these up if we want oh i just i don't need a um, cut in med do i no, you can just arrange them. I'm going to show oh, how good. to cut them. But I'm going to remove my mat because I don't want to have all kinds mm -hmm. of, of things in it. And I can take that, too. Okay. 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 There all we right. go. There we go. Move these. Get all of these down. She kind of challenged me with this. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't tell me a lot of times until I'm right here in front what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I thought you but, knew. Okay, so the first thing is to open up the plastic. And then get rid of it. <laughs> okay, now what's the name of that one? And, um, who's, and who's did it? Grunge. Grunge? Grunge. Mm -hmm. And it's by? Mora. Modi. We can call that a jelly roll. Okay. Okay, so for the light, she has to pick out oh. 15 lights. Oh, I'm going to have to do all together and then I separate them? Okay. 15 lights and 18 darks okay. and one center. Okay. Wow. This is cool. I like it. I'm glad I picked this one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, you can like close your eyes and see. Close your eyes. So I remember what you get, you have to figure out where to put. I feel like this is... Am I wrong? I feel like these are my dark ones. What those, do you think? Those are good darks. I'd say yeah. definitely the yellow and the green. No, those are light, Elle. What do you think? Put your glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely dark. <laughs> really? Uh, really? Yes. This one? Wow. Yeah. Well, I think this is going to be our center. What do you think? Black? You want black in the center? Yeah. It's okay. sure. Black. Okay, that's okay. And I don't know. Okay, so how many do I need? You need to have 15 lights. You got to put this in the dark. Okay, I'm going to mess you up. <laughs> <laughs> and give me this one back. Okay. You take that one and I'll take this one. There. Okay. And I'll take this one. But give me this one. Okay, take it. One. We're going to fight here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, or not. But what do you think? Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah. I'm, I think it's looking good. Oh, there is another light one. That right? is not light. <laughs> what do you think? It's you agree light. with me? Is good. Light? Thank you, ladies. Okay. <laughs> so you need to have 15 light and 15, 18 dark. And one center square. And one, oh, there is definitely light. Okay, but I don't want them. this because it's for one, boys. Two, three. That's what I say the quilt four, is for boys. Five, six, 
six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Good. You have it there? These are darks. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Okay, let's count them. Here what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ooh. Three more. I need them. Well, we can do the the gray one is good. Yeah. 17, 18. Yeah. That is 17. And this brown, don't you say? Yeah. This one. These are, these are light. Now, what do you think? Should we just go with this heads for the center or the black? Okay. Black, so I we have them. Give, give Eleanor the, the beige one. That, yeah, this one? Give Eleanor that one. For that area, right? Uh, do I have to have that? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good thing. There we go. Okay. So that's so now she has to start dividing into. Let's say we know the center. Now pick the lightest ones for L one. Uh, and L two. You just need three of them. Okay, are you following with me? She needs to have three of them. So I'm going to put this one. That's three. three. Of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then now one. you need to hit L three and four. You need five of them. One, two. Wait, let, light, 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 light. You're supposed to light. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing light? Okay, well. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just three. Oh, okay, you want yeah. me to do them? Well, it says light. I'm reading. <laughs> You're reading the lights, right? I'm reading the lights. Okay, you sorry. Need the, you I need the lightest lights. Okay, there you go. Let's just put those there. All right, fine. Three. Oh, no. Three. Look at this. Yeah, I'm so <laughs> telling you. <laughs> there we go. There. Three I of those. Sorry, speaking One, two, the, Remember, three. what it takes the most is the planning. Yes. There. Okay, There's and now two. the next... <sighs> L3, L4, you need five. So let's go to a different color. How about that? Oh, one, two, three, four. Okay. Five. Oh. There you go. Okay. And then for light five and six, you need seven. Seven, seven of them. Okay. One, one two, two, three, four, four five. five. Uh, yeah, I want I want another color. Those six, are good. Six, yeah. six, six. And See how beautiful seven. they go. That's yeah. it. Yeah. So we don't need. Doesn't this. that look good? Okay. With all the lights. Okay. okay now good. you have to go the dark side. Oh, the center. D one and two. You need four. <laughs> that one that went four. on the oh, floor. That's, that's the center. The center. That's Oops. the center. Okay. There. There. Okay. You need four. Four of them? D1 and D2, you need four. One, two. One, two. Three. That looks good. Just How about this lighter blue? Okay, if you want to. There. <laughs> there. Okay, and then D3 and D4, you need six. Okay. Four. Five. Six. Oh, you know what? Let's put this in just for the fun of it. Oh, but when she put that one down, it almost looks light, doesn't it? it does. But does it look? There, that one looks dark. It's interesting, mm -hmm. isn't it? You can always flip one of these, but I think we're good. You're good. Given color. Okay, I think you're good. And that's so, it. now. And this is our binding. Yep, there's your binding that you can piece it together. And sometimes you can actually get a whole like five of them, they're the same color that you can use for your border. Or just buy five eighths of a yard, cut your center and your border out of the yardage. Okay, Teresa. Well, so I would have you cut, but you've been cutting all day. So I have. I get so to I cut now. Certain. Okay? Yes. Okay. So now I'm going to just, okay. So now. You turn the page to 52. 
So what I decided to do was a little quilt like this. Would you get this quilt for us? Oh, sure. I love this quilt. And I thought it would be easy if I just got all white for the light side. Wouldn't that be smart? So I got all light for the white side. And then I made three different colors of block. It's coming, it's coming. Ooh. This one? Yeah. Wow. So how about that? That was because I just couldn't work out the colors. So I did, then I grouped um, the three different colors, three of each. This is just a baby quilt, all with light, little charming around the outside edge. So I have a green, three green, three blue, three red. Good? And use the leftovers for the binding. Cool. So this idea is very good that you actually have some that, some of the yardages that it just says if you want to have a repeat of the light. Right. Can I just show them? See, there is, so it's all background because they couldn't decide, I guess. And I think the next one is the same. And another one. I like that. See different colors and so on. Very cute. Okay. Okay, so now are you on page um, 81? Mm -hmm. 80 and 81. There's a whole section in here for multicolored blocks. And I'm going to make a multicolored block, right? Multicolored quilt. But I, have, I just have one uh, light. I just want one light and cut it up. This is really for a double. I'm really only going to make maybe a twin. But for this one, you have light, one through six. You buy two and a fourth yards, and you cut 29 two and a half inch strips. And now I'm going to make four. I made four green blocks. Four green blocks. That's your clue, your cue. Oh, four green blocks? Yeah, That's but. Only no, get the new blocks. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Is that pretty? Is that pretty? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's four. And then I'm going to get my cool strip box. Is this cool? Oh, eat your heart out. <laughs> Guess where I got this? Is that nice? And see, you kind of pull these things out. This keeps them all organized. Ah, and now I am going to do four blue. Ooh. And now I'm going to do four red. Ah, that looks nice. And then I have some left over for my binding. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So this is fun. I already took, got, had my light before we all started. This is the original quilt in a day ruler. Let me see, if I turn this towards Eric, he would be able to follow. I'm gonna just kind of mess it up. So I cut these all to size logs. First, see how it, it goes? This is the center in the first light. And it's a two and a half by two and a half. Okay, the next one, L2, and dark one, four and a half. Okay, and you just keep on cutting along six and a half, eight and a half, ten and a half, ten and a half, and twelve and a half. Didn't I do that fast? I did that fast. I know. I'm pretty good. So now I just want to really show you how to cut up. I'm going to do the blue, all right? I'll cut up the blue and 
I want to um, just take one. All I want is, I just want to have four of them. So I'm just going to trim off my salvage edge. Ta da! Get rid of it. This is going to be D2 or D1. D1. Okay? So you can't even read it though. So busy, huh? But this is the length of D1. I have uh, four layers, so I'm just going to go and cut. Oh my gosh. Nope, only two layers. Okay. And so now I'm going to cut a second one. So this is D2. I have four of them. And actually, I'm just going to get rid of this one. Whoop. And this one, I'm going to make D3. So I have quilt in a day right side up. And on the end, I'm right handed. And I'm just going to cut this off and just keep on sliding it. This is D2. That really got big, huh? No, it's D2. D2. I only have, yeah, I, I have four layers now. Okay? And now I'm going to go. So if I keep on, can't remember, I go, okay, this is D1, D2. Okay, this one must be D3, right? <laughs> just keep on, you just keep on sliding it along and cutting it. You could be layer cutting everything all at the same time, but just for uh, getting it done efficiently. Okay, D, three. One, two, three. Okay, and now I'm going to cut my four. Ah, how am I doing? They're pretty, aren't they? Binding. Woo. Okay. So, and you just keep on going along. They keep on growing and growing, right? And so, I'm just going to pick these up really nice, neat, and tidy. I'm not going to throw them on the floor because I have to finish this quilt. Okay, so... When you, I, I did my center and L1 already. I like to do this. I like to sew a whole long strip. Gets me there really fast in the beginning. And then I just cut these into two and a half inch pieces, right? Okay. So actually, oh, I got another plan for this later. So now this is how it's, the block is going to look. I just pull it out of the way a little bit. Oh, so this is centered. And this one goes here like this. Two blocks, one, two. This is this one, D1, D2. Okay, two. And now comes this one. And this one goes on the side. Another round, right? And now comes this one. And so on. You're just going to keep on going, right? Okay, you're just going to keep on going. So, the name of this one is... Pleasant home. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Pleasant home. And this is, this is Penny Rose. It's really Riley Blake. Penny Rose, Riley Blake. Okay, so let us see in the book. How are we going to do this now? Sewing the blocks. Sewing the blocks. Okay, so look at that. I already put my, on 69. And it says to take the center and L1, sew them right sides together. 
and then cut them apart. And look at that, they're already done. Wasn't that fast? <laughs> and you press the seam away from the center. Okay? Okay, that's good. Okay, so now let's turn the page. And this is where it really begins. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put the block wrong side up. That is wrong side up. Can you tell that? See the seams? See the stitches? That's wrong side up. And this is beside it, L2. And it's going to look like this, right? So that arrow that's going across the top, what it says is, pick up the block and go this away with it. Okay, it's not flipping. It goes like this. Ah. So you have to see that it is wrong side up to right side. And so now you just get this little system going. You've got the strip on the right, the right side up, the blocks on the left, wrong side up. What's your seam allowance? Woo! I think I turned all of these right side up finally. It's so hard to see. <laughs> so now you're going to just use your stiletto. You grab the strip on the right, right side up, block, whoop, go whoosh. Should we go whoosh? What noise would that arrow make? Whoosh! Whoosh. <laughs> and just keep on sewing. And that's, this is why I love this technique. You don't have to get out of your seat. You can literally sit and sew all of these pieces without moving. And it's good. Oh, make sure you have your coffee. Yeah, your radio your TV, whatever you want. Okay, so this is number three for me, right? And all I said was I was gonna make four of this one. Okay, so then I get it, just get one more. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Yes, what is that laughing about? Don't get out of your seat. Cut your thread, pick up your four, one, two, three, four, cutting gizmo. It's in front of me. And then you go, shh, 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 stack them all up, turn them over, and open. And just with your fingernail or your wooden iron, just crease that seam so it's going away from the center, okay? So you just do open, crease, one, two, three, whoop. Am I going too slow? No? Okay. And flip them over and get rid of this, right? Okay, and so now what do I need? Look at the, look at the next page. Now I need to have... D1, D1, right side up, wrong side up, strip. Okay, and just keep on going. All right, so you with me? That's all, is this all that I need to do? So you get it? It's really, really sweet. I can't wait to finish it. Um, I think there's going to be 15 blocks. Okay, we're doing good. So now, how are we going to set these blocks all together? So there's lots of settings. You just keep on going, and you don't have to press it until you get up, until you get to the end. So I always think of the, the dark as a seven or an L. Did I show you this last time? No? no. no? Okay, so uh, think of the dark. The, um, seven? Yes, okay. make a seven. Okay. Okay, there's a seven. Okay, and then beside it you can do an L. 
this is going to be fields and furrows. Okay, that's cool. Okay. All right, so this is seven, so I'm going to put L beside it right here. Let's put more. So you can change this so many different ways. There are a hundred different ways. And now that's seven up there. That's L. Make this seven. Okay, this is fields and furrows. And you could keep on going, they're pretty, huh? Okay, so now let's all turn them in. One, two. So you can do that one. One more turn. Whoops, that's a new one. That's good. So this is with the dark in the middle. And now let's all turn them out. Woo, this is fun, huh? <laughs> So you can just lay all your blocks on the floor and lay them out how you uh, think you want them. Take a picture and then just go ahead and, and turn them more different ways. And as you look through uh, on page 98, it is the baby, the baby, and then it's the wall hanging. And then it's got, oh, all different ones. Lots of them for wall hanging because that's 16 blocks. And then turn the page. Then you have lap. It's a little harder because it's only uh, three rows across, three rows down. And twin is pretty much the same. But the queen right across from it at 30 blocks has lots of different ways. And I think that's what's really fun. I'm looking for one section because we put some, oh, okay, 102. Just for the heck of it, I said, okay, Merritt, let's do something called the modern look. Try an offset layout. We were kind of just joking. But then the modern people came back and said, oh, they like on 102, the modern look. <laughs> Too much fun. So. Teresa and I did a quilt uh, in Julian. We did probably, we pieced the blocks in about um, two hours or so and put them together. And whenever I took them and laid them out, I did not like it. And I was really bummed because um, there was, you can see this would be the top. There was just the last one L5 was the orange and L6 was the black. And I just didn't know how to work with it. So I turned, I decided to do this, okay? And then I said, well, the rows are not quite complete. Let's take a strip of navy and put it across the top. Yeah, yeah, is that cool? And then two strips of navy down the sides. It's just, you just have to play with your blocks and you'll come up. Okay, and then there were just these little pieces. I don't know if I'm gonna stick these on the end or save these for the binding, but this was it. Okay, and you can put that right down there. Good. And what do you think now? Did that help it? It really helped it, didn't it? Okay, now these are the um, two and a half inch borders. Start with the top and the bottom. Whoa. <laughs> Teresa's going to be really tired, huh? Okay, at the bottom. Actually, once they're sewn, I don't even know. They're not going to fit because I put those extra. I'm going to have to piece them, huh? Yeah, and down at the bottom, that's the directions they do top and bottom and then sides. Okay, and then I had everything left over and I took and I pieced my binding. See how they're all? Okay, this takes us hours to get this all wrapped real pretty and ready, but let's just look at it. Woo! So there we are, all of the pieces of binding just ready to put on. Is it pretty? Yeah, I think it's going to look pretty. I told her to leave it 
on the wall for bucket list tomorrow, I would finish it. <laughs> so you don't have much left. You just can use everything. But then I've been playing with it. Remember, I had extra pieces here. I said, ooh, I know what I'm going to do with those. So you can take them. And anything you can cut into a two and a half inch square. So you could just do four squares. I love just four, four squares together. That's cool. Oh, or you could make little pinwheels out of them. I love pinwheels. They're just so much fun. And we have this little uh, triangle ruler that if you take your light and your dark of whatever is left over and you just put it right on like this. Actually, let me see if I could do it like this one because see that little um, notch? Okay, so you just go ahead and cut all of your little pieces that are left and sew this edge, sew the edge and then just press to the dark. And then you can use all these little pieces for pinwheels. Ah, and I gave away my, my necktie earlier today. My, it was a little block that was a lot of fun. Or else you could just put nine squares together and to make a nine patch. And the reason that I just love these little pieces, they're so fun because you swirl the backs and so no matter how you put them, if they're swirled on the back, when you piece them together, they're all just going to lock together. Mm -hmm. This seam will lock together. And plus, if you just take them and you just mush these really good. I love it when you just mush them good because they come out so flat and there's no bulk, you know, and then people can just, you can just sew them together. So it's just really, really fun to do. Ah, oh, my goodness. Is that enough for you? Huh? Wow, thank you. I think that's a lot of fun. Great way to use up your stash and your two and a half inch strips. A lot of fun.